So we recently did a review on the 2021 Mustang Mach-E. At the time, we did a driving review, we showed you the interior, but we never actually got to show you underneath. Well, thanks to Bob Ruth Ford, they brought down their Mach-E today. We got up on the lift, I'm gonna show you the battery, suspension, and the brakes. Like your S550 Mustang, it's a bolt-in IRS subframe. It actually bolts in four locations, just like the Mustang does. The shocks mount using Mustang shock mounts, and a lot of this is actually very familiar. And a lot of the modifications you've done to your S550 chassis will probably actually transfer over to the Mach-E, but obviously the biggest difference being a big electric motor in the back, and then the entire underneath of it is a big battery. Another thing we saw back here behind your suspension, there's actually a speaker facing down. Now jokingly we're saying someone's probably gonna hack into that so it sounds like exhaust. This is actually a backup beaver when you put the car into reverse. So here in front of the rear subframe, you can see, I mean, here is the battery. The entire underside of this is the battery for your Mach-E, and the plug comes out and the wire goes over here to the electric motor. Again, this is an all wheel drive one, so it'll be a similar setup in the front. We'll show you that in a minute. Now we're up front under the Mach-E, and again, there's some familiar stuff up here, obviously a lot of different stuff. First thing though, big electric motor in the front. Again, this is all wheel drive, so there's a motor in the front, motor in the back. This one is actually wrapped with damping material, again, because of how close it is to the interior, probably just to keep it quiet. You've also got cooling lines that come from a pump that looks very similar to the GT500 pump that runs back, to the battery to keep it cool. Back here, part again looks really familiar. This is either identical or very similar to the rear motor mount the Focus ST uses, because they actually steal that from the electric Focus. It would make sense to use it on this as well. And this design is pretty much exactly the same as the Focus setup. Again, going back again, you got the battery right here. The wires come back from the electric motor and go right in the front of the battery. So we pop the front wheel off to show you the suspension. Again, a lot of familiar stuff up here. The strut and spring setup, pretty much exactly the same as the S550. The spring is a much smaller diameter, but the good news is there will be a lowering spring option for the Mach-E because the installation will be the same as it is on the modern Mustang. The brakes, again, a little bit different. It's a large caliper, but it's a lot thinner than the Mustang caliper, and the bolt pattern is different. So your standard Mustang wheels, the 5x4.5, will not fit the Mustang Mach-E. It's a 5x4, so I'm sure the aftermarket will have wheel options coming soon. Now in the rear of the car, again, somewhat familiar stuff back here. There is no vertical link that the Mustang has. We do have multiple control arms and a camber arm, so you will have adjustment there. The shock mounts just like it does on the S550 with a mount up top here with two bolts. And the spring, again, easily accessible. So when there are lowering kits available for these, the installation should be pretty straightforward. Now, obviously being an entirely new vehicle, there's a lot of new stuff on the Mach-E, but there's a lot of familiar stuff here. We will definitely see brake rotor upgrades, brake pad upgrades. I'm sure manufacturers are working on springs, wheels and tires. There'll be a lot of ways to modify your Mach-E, and I'm sure this won't be the last time you'll see it. We're gonna lift here at CJ Pony Parts.